Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. I appreciate your interest. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one, number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we are the only classic car dealership in the country who methodically services every vehicle that we sell. And believe me, they all need servicing. We document the work with an invoice. Make sure to check that out in our listing. When we're done servicing the vehicles, we detail them to the highest level so they are ready for you. Once again, thank you for watching and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. And today we're doing a exterior and mechanical presentation per the request of people on Bring a Trailer. Bring a Trailer is an online auction that's happening right now with this particular vehicle. It's selling with no reserve. Uh, so I really wanna get into just a uh, really good presentation. If you have not seen the main video, if you have not seen our driving video, uh, Michael Marcella, who's sitting in the car now, uh, he's been uh, our service manager for many years now. He's the one who personally went to New York to pick this vehicle up from the second owner. He drove it back 180 miles, had a great experience. Everything is fully documented. Make sure to watch that video. Uh, so we will go ahead right now uh, and just kind of get into it. Uh, in the first video that we did and in the driving video, we never really talked about the story of this car. This is a very special story. And if you've been following MS Classic Cars, please note that we do only collect number one and number two condition show cars from time to time. It's not very often. I probably would say maybe two times per year. I find a survivor, which is clearly what this is, and I make the exception to the rule and buy something that's all original and not restored like most of the vehicles that we sell. Um, you might remember, uh, now that we're talking about Bring a Trailer, again, which is the online auction website this vehicle is currently selling on with no reserve, uh, we have sold some very special survivors from the 1970s. We sold a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Fastback that had 50,000 original miles. Uh, clearly the most uh, popular vehicle that we've ever sold on Bring a Trailer was our 1971 Datsun 240Z that had 21,000 original miles. Uh, we also sold a 1973 Jaguar E-Type I bought from the original owner. That vehicle had just shy of 8,000 original miles. And to put the icing on the cake, we sold a 1976 Triumph TR6 uh, that had roughly 5,000 miles on it. Again, those are just four vehicles to reference. The reason I'm mentioning those vehicles is because we have experience at MS Classic Cars with survivor type of vehicles. So let's get into the story here. We'll kind of come toward the front because I'm gonna pull out my flashlight in my electronic paint meter. Uh, I have this binder here. And again, I just wanna give uh, some uh, accolades here to the people that really deserve the credit for this car. I'm just a collector, dealer. We sell beautiful vehicles, but really the people that should get the credit are the people that buy these vehicles. They keep them in this amazing condition. So Alan Lawrence, um, he was the owner of Guilford Auto Sales from 1946. His wife, from what I've gathered, her name was Karen Kirby Lawrence. She helped him in his business. They went to the dealership and they bought this car brand new for Karen. This was Karen's pride. This was Karen's uh, everything. She kept the car obviously in amazing condition. It was always garaged. It was always serviced. In 1980, uh, when he retired from his business after many, many years, it was just over 30 years he was in business, uh, he transferred it from the dealer name to Karen's name. We do actually have the original title, which is in our photo document here, which you can clearly see, because in the state of Connecticut, uh, where they lived, um, you don't need uh, the title, basically, once because you get a certificate. It's like a registration. They don't issue titles for vintage cars. So they gave that back to them. We have that as documentation. Uh, so what ended up happening, unfortunately, after 56 years, I believe it was 56 years, yes, of marriage, 
Uh, Karen had passed and, uh, you know, obviously the family held on to the car for a few years. Uh, after a few years, they talked uh, Alan into selling his wife's pride and joy. And I purchased it from a gentleman named Michael that actually bought it from them directly. I bought it in 2023. That's the story of this car. It is an unbelievable car. There are certain vehicles that just talk to you when you look at the color of them. And this particular vehicle is clearly one of them. Uh, again, the reason I'm doing this video here today is because just uh, over the course of 72 hours, actually by the time this video goes live, it might even be a little bit over 72 hours, we have had over 15,000 views on Bring a Trailer, almost 1,000 watchers. We've had over 100 comments. This car is getting so much activity. I believe it's not just the body style of the car, just being a 1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, but I think it's the color combination and the condition of this vehicle. So let's do the exterior presentation here. Again, I'm gonna use this electronic paint meter. I'm gonna go on record and say this. There's a lot of individuals, dealers, who claim that vehicles have original paint and they don't always uh, have what dealers or individuals say. So what we do at MS Classic Cars is we let the electronic paint meter do the talking. This clearly documents whether or not a vehicle has original paint. We use this exact paint meter with all those vehicles I had mentioned to you earlier in the presentation. What this does is it just shows you whether or not something has been painted, so we'll go over that. I also will pull out my flashlight here uh, that we use. This flashlight, I'll just use it to highlight the vehicle and I'm gonna point out any imperfections. Keep in mind, this vehicle is 50 years old, okay? So Corey, why don't you come up a little bit closer here and we'll, uh, we'll just kind of go over this. So the first thing I'd like to do is just kind of shine this flashlight on this and you can see how beautiful all this paint is. And again, it is original. Look at this, absolutely stunning. We have a couple of very small imperfections. One that's been touched up there. We have one here. Again, we have one here, one here. There's a few little spots, but again, we have one here. You notice I have to put the flashlight on to find them, they're that small. Again, in beautiful shape. Now, while we're on the subject of the hood, let's use the paint meter. Okay, this is reading a 3.0. Okay, a 3.0 would indicate original factory paint. What I will do is when we make our way over to the back of the vehicle, there's a beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Camaro RS Z28. Uh, I'm gonna show you what a paint meter reading is on a vehicle that has had body work and paint so you can see the difference. Now over here, I'm just gonna use the other side. Again, we have a 3.0. As we're looking at the grill, it's in absolutely beautiful condition. We have a couple of little minor imperfections here. Again, this is original, it's 50 years old. You would expect some patina, but everything is beautiful, all the headlights, the lenses, the chrome bumpers. Again, you have a couple of hairline little marks here and there, but look at the condition of the rubber. It's absolutely beautiful. While we're at the front here, I'd like to use this opportunity to have Mike just do a quick presentation. Mike, why don't you go ahead and show him the headlights, parking lights, high beams. You can clearly see everything is in working order. While we're also at the front here, why don't you go ahead and hit the windshield wipers. So you can clearly see. Now keep in mind, the car's not running right now. Uh, we're just doing this for a quick little presentation. Mike had also put on the turn signals as well earlier. You can see they're both working as they should. Now these little uh, pieces that are on the fenders here, these actually light up. Uh, so when Mike puts on the headlights and high beams, they have little lights in here. And if you actually come around, I don't know if you can see it very well with the camera, but Mike, just do the headlight as an example, and he'll pull that out and you can see where this is actually turning here and then the headlights on. Uh, the other side works the same, uh, really a cool feature that Cadillac offered. Now, as we make our way over to the passenger fender, 
3.5, okay? You're looking for factory original paint from this generation anywhere between a three and typically a five, somewhere in that range. Again, if this car had body work and it had paint work, we'd be getting readings of 15, 18, 20, 25. You'll see when I touch that Camaro over there in a minute. When we look at all this glass here, okay, this to me is the telltale sign of a real survivor is how crystal clear the glass is. We were told that Karen only uses this vehicle uh, on Sundays and to go to the grocery store and things like that. I know it's the little lady church story, but really it is. Look at the clarity of this windshield. It doesn't even have really any imperfections to speak of. Again, 50 years old. Look at the quality of the dash. Okay, look at how beautiful the dash is. There's no cracking, there's no blistering, there's no bubbling. We'll make our way over here to this mirror here with the Cadillac engraved 4.0. Again, original factory paint. These doors, they open and close beautifully. Now, you will notice buzzer works. So check this out over here. You can hear the buzzer working. People asked if the interior lights work. Clearly, you can see all the interior lights. Now what Corey does, Corey does all of our photography and videos and everything else, uh, social media and so forth. What he does when he takes pictures of cars is we unplug the battery because we're not looking for imperfections uh, in the interior as far as glares and things like that. So that's why you didn't see the lights in the uh, photos that we had taken. Something else cool we probably didn't even know. So see the seat? Right, when you shut the door, they lock, so they won't come. Oh, that's cool. I never, and it works. So <laughs> I never knew that. Quiet. So, Mike, why don't you quickly hear, um, I'll shut this door so people don't have to hear the buzzer. And then what we'll do is, why don't you go ahead and just demonstrate uh, a couple of things, maybe the, let's start with the power windows, um, so they can see. Now, remember that the battery, this is just straight battery power here. The car's not running. Sometimes when the, yeah. Vehicles run, they get a little bit more juice in the alternator and the battery and so forth. But you can see how beautiful all these windows roll up and down. Check this out. Okay, nice and quiet, nice and tight. You can go ahead and put them all down, Mike. Perfect. Um, why don't you, oh, yep, power door locks. Anything else that we can demonstrate here? The remote mirror, maybe? Yeah, yeah they're not electric. They no, work. They yep, work. they work. Uh, oh, let's do the radio and the antenna. Radio. So radio comes on. Now keep in mind, we're inside of a metal building right now, but it does work beautifully. You can see the antenna going up and down. That was another thing that people had question marks about. Again, these were all things that we went over in service. At MS Classic Cars, we take great pride and being the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell, we document the work with an invoice. So if a headlight wasn't working, we would have fixed it. If the power antenna wasn't working, we would have fixed it. Uh, we would have fixed the AC if the AC wasn't working. Now, on the subject, Mike, of the air conditioning, um, let's go ahead and, I, again, it's hard for you and the camera to know if something's blowing ice cold, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna have Mike just quickly start the car show you with the AC coming on. Maybe you can even hear the compressor and he'll tell you that the AC blows ice cold. You can go ahead and start it, Mike. Look, look at how this car runs. The flick of a key. So you, I just heard the compressor come on. Okay. I can feel the air from here. I, uh, ice cold. I can feel it from here and I've got to be three feet away. Beautiful. Now, Cruise control works. Map light. map light, check it out over there. The map light works. All right, you can shut it off now, Mike. Now, one thing that uh, we discovered here, this is another topic that came up. When I got this car, it had a steering wheel cover on the steering wheel. It was stuck to the steering wheel, and when the guys in the details room had said, look it, it seems to have little cracks in it, we don't want to peel the paint, I said, just leave it alone, okay? Let's leave it alone. People want us to take off the steering wheel cover. We did that today. When we took off the steering wheel cover, uh, again, you can see that it does indeed have cracks. I guess this is a really common thing with these steering wheels. Now, this portion of the steering wheel is in excellent condition. The horn clearly works. 
but the rim of the steering wheel is going to need to be restored or it's going to have to be replaced. Maybe find some NOS steering wheel or something that's in really, really good condition. I want to go on record in this video. Once again, this car is selling with no reserve. It's going to sell. I will indeed uh, pay back, reimburse uh, the new owner of this vehicle if he or she wants to either A, restore this wheel or they want to find one, even if it takes six months to do so, I will reimburse them the cost of that, okay? So set it in this video, that's the documentation. We will go ahead and cover this wheel again after this video, just so it's, you know, not showing the cracks and so forth, uh, but just know that that will be taken care of. As we make our way over to the back of the vehicle here, we have a 4.5 original factory paint. Now, again, I'm pulling out my flashlight. Look, look at the quality of this paint. Look at this. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. There is no chips. There is no scratches. There's no dents. There's no dings. Look at this. It's beautiful. I, I see nothing that would be worth me even mentioning. Really, it's, it's spectacular. 50 years old. Okay, look at 4.5. Now, as we make our way to the back of the car, Mike, would you mind opening the trunk? I think it's really important we show them the trunk quick. Why Mike's doing that, Corey, let's come over here. Oh, that's awesome. Now, check that out. 22.0. That doesn't mean anything regarding the car not being a high quality car, this is actually one of the best 69 Camaro Z28s, Rally Sports, uh, original drivetrain known to exist, absolutely spectacular car. Once again, the paint meter never lies. So again, this is what you would expect on a car that has had paint work. Now over here, this particular car, this beautiful Bentley, 4.0, original factory paint. Okay, this is worth its weight in gold. Let's make our way back over here because this gets really interesting back here. You can smell the originality in this trunk. Look at this original sticker. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. All original paint underneath here. The original spare tire, all the tools. This carpeting is in beautiful condition. The rubber is so intact. Look at the quality of this trunk compartment. Absolutely stunning. Again, the light works under here. When you look at the rear bumper, again, there are hairline little scratches. I mean, that would happen when the car was brand new just by taking a, a wash you know, mat or some sort and it would scratch it up a little bit, but it's in beautiful shape. Look at the chrome. Look at this chrome work. It's absolutely stunning. When you shut this trunk here, you push it down and then it electronically grabs and it sucks it right in. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, there is a little, little tiny chip back here. Again, the rest of this is in super nice shape. I'll go ahead and touch it with the paint meter. 4.5 original factory paint. We'll make our way over to the passenger quarter. 4.0 original factory paint. Again, I'm going to use this flashlight. Look at this paint work. Look at the lenses and the chrome. Look at this. Beautiful. No, no, no damage whatsoever. Somebody asked about this pinstriping. This was put on by the second owner. This will come off literally in minutes. It just peels right off. Okay. If somebody wants to get rid of that, he or she can. Look at the condition. This is another question we got. Look at the condition of this top. This is 50 years old. Look at this. There's no tears. There's no rips. It's in super nice condition. Again, all the stainless trim is in beautiful shape. Okay, now we're over at the passenger door. 4.0, original factory paint. Again, beautiful door handles. Open the door. You can see the lights that come on in here. You can hear the seat lock on that side. Seat lock. Look at the condition of these seat surfaces, okay? When you go online and you look at vehicles that have less miles than what this one does, they aren't as nice as this. And the reason why is I was told that Karen used to cover 
the seats, and that's what kept them looking as good as they did. We're almost done here, making our way over to the passenger front fender. 3.5, I'll do it one more time up in the front. 3.0, okay, and I'll use the flashlight just to show you one last time that the condition of this original paint is in absolutely amazing condition. So that concludes our video. Mike, thanks for helping us today. Is there anything that I might have forgot or anything else? Lights, right plate, uh, reverse lights. Oh, you want to do those as well? Go ahead, real quick. Yep. Yep, rear lights, reverse lights, turn signals. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, we also ask that you sign up for our VIP email blast if you have not done that. It's the best way to follow us. Please check us out on all the social media networks as well. If you just learned about this car, it's not too late to bid on it. If you already know about this car, now you've got to bid on it. Well, we appreciate you watching. And once again, rock and roll.